Engineers of American firm General Electric will arrive in Bangalore in mid-2022, to assist technicians of Hindustan Aeronautics in the integration of the F-414 engines for the Tejas Mark II program. HAL has already received the first batch of F-414 engines from General Electric in 2020, and the engines have been kept in storage, but they are grounded tested and serviced at regular intervals as per service manuals of General Electric. The metal cutting of the Tejas Mark II fighter jet had started in February, and has also floated tender for procurement of 20 by 8 multi-touch screen large area display for the first two aircraft and has also procured ground tools for assembly of the first aircraft. HAL plans to put the first aircraft on assembly jig in early 2022, and plans to roll out the first pre-production aircraft by August 2022, that will be followed up with series of ground tests, before it is ready for its first flight in 2023. The U.S. State Department has approved the foreign military sale of six P-8I patrol aircraft and related equipment worth $2.42 billion to India, and the Indian package also includes radio systems engines navigational systems and contractor support. And after these six new units the total strength of the Navy's P-8I fleet will increase to 18. The Indian Navy already operates two maritime variant of Sea Guardian drones on lease, and will also receive 10 armed variants out of the 30 units that India will procure for its three services, and the Navy will use these drones in conjunction with MH-60 Seahawk helicopters and P-8I aircraft in remote detection tracking and targeting submerged enemy submarines. We had reported during Aero India 2021, that the private sector firm Tunbo Imaging had displayed the successful integration of its see-through armor system on a BMP-2 vehicle, and as per latest reports, the Indian Army has successfully completed the user trials of the STAR system. The STAR is a multispectral panoramic imaging system that integrates primary and secondary armament system, and has multiple sensors and long-wave infrared systems for day and night fighting capability. It is integrated with HoloLens with head tracking, and uses artificial intelligence for target recognition and countering enemy UAVs. The Indian Army had recently issued a new request for information to acquire 350 lightweight tanks weighing around 25 tons, and apart from Russian Spirit and K-21 light tank of South Korea, three more companies can also field their light tanks in the competition, that includes British firm BAE Systems, US firm General Dynamics and Israeli firm Elbit Systems. The BAE Systems has already unveiled its 105mm expeditionary light tank that could be airdropped from a C-130 aircraft, while General Dynamics has developed a new light tank with 120mm cannon that weighs less than 30 tons, and will have armor similar to a standard main battle tank. Israel's Elbit Systems could also offer India the Sabra light tank Escort 2, which is a new variant that has also been selected under the Philippine Army's light tank project. <laughs> Top experts have said that the Tejas fighter jet recently tested the 100 km range Iderby extended range variant alongside the fifth generation Python 5 short range air to air missile, and both the missiles achieved a direct hit on high speed maneuvering aerial targets, which is a significant boost to the combat capability of the Tejas fighter jet. The I-Derby Extended Range Missile is equipped with a software-based radio RF seeker and dual-pulse rocket motor, and the use of software-controlled radar seeker technology enables the seeker to be reprogrammed with software upgrades including new waveforms duty cycles and processing techniques, that will address new threats countermeasures and techniques that may evolve through the missile's lifespan of 30 years. The integration process is currently underway, that will enable the Tejas to test the 25 km range ASRAM close combat missile, and 110 km range ASRAM Mark 1 by the end of 2021. 
Chinese media has announced that China will deliver the first of the four Type 54A frigate to Pakistan in June 2021, which is an improved version of the Chinese Type 54 frigate in service with the Chinese Navy. It has a displacement of 4,000 tons, and features 32-cell vertical launching system for HQ-16 surface-to-air missiles, and is also equipped with C-803 anti-ship subsonic cruise missiles, and can accommodate one Harbin Z-9 helicopter. The US has announced that it will continue maintenance of electronic warfare suites on board Pakistani and Turkish F-16 till 2026 for which the U.S. has awarded a contract to provide sustaining services for the F-16 Advanced Integrated Defense Electronic Warfare Suite ALQ-211 system, and this contract involves foreign military sales for supporting the air forces of Pakistan and Turkey.